Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of sports, pop culture, lifestyle, everything really, depending on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Pearl Otis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats. This is one of our official 2020 NHL Draft exclusive interviews where we talk to players. We'll have a chance to get their name called in the NHL Draft. And we are talking to a forward from the Czech Republic who spent some time in the OHL with the Hamilton Bulldogs. He is Jan Mishak. Jan, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Hey, thank you for the invite. <laughs> no problem. I mean, it's an exciting time. It's like the calm before the storm. Like the NHL draft yeah. is like around the corner. <laughs> How's that been for you preparing for it? Um, it's sometimes it's tough, you know. I'm trying to not think about that, but you know, it's a big day, so <laughs> we'll see what's gonna happen. Absolutely, and it's like a dream from a young age, right? To exactly, like play in the yeah. National Hockey League, which is pretty <laughs> cool. Has it kind of sunk in that the day is kind of like almost here? Yeah, uh, you know, sometimes I can't even sleep because, like, I'm so excited for that. So uh, it's two days left, so we'll see. <laughs> it's an interesting dynamic because, for one, I mean, you and your family don't have, because of the, the, the COVID-19, you and your family don't have a chance to actually, like, go to the draft and everything. So it's going to be a virtual draft this year. But it's kind of cool that you're going to be able to kind of still be like with your family in Czech Republic and kind of wait for the news, right? It's going to be an exciting moment. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll be with my family. Uh, my brother's not here. He left the U.S. So uh, that's, uh, you know, not good for me, but Absolutely. I'll live with that. <laughs> so you and, spent uh, some, yeah, you spent some time last year in um, the OHL with the Hamilton Bulldogs. Mm-hmm. What was your decision for leaving Czech Republic and going to play in Canada? Uh, you know, probably after the World Juniors, uh, when I played against Canada, uh, they beat us, I think, 7-2. to two, So it was <laughs> so tough to play against them. And uh, then I realized it's going to be probably better for me because uh, if I want to play in NHL or uh, in North America, uh, I have to play with them. Uh, in the size of the ring, uh, you know, their style. So mm-hmm. I just wanted to move then. And, uh, that, that tournament was insane. Yeah. <laughs> that was, I mean, that must have been a crazy experience. Like I was talking to um, Yaramir about this, Yaramir Pitnik. Mm. I mean, the game against Russia, like that yeah. was one of the craziest games I've ever seen. Yeah, that was only the only one we had. But, uh, you know, it was probably one of the best uh one of the best hockey experiences i've ever had so yeah it was good no it, it, it but you also had unfortunately there was there was a big like there were some injuries you know what i mean too which which happened you know what i mean like Loco is a great player you know what i mean yeah yeah so it happens you know it's 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 like part of the game you know what i mean mm. That's hockey. Have you kind of watched a little bit of the like highlights of the NHL Stanley Cup uh playoffs? Yeah, sometimes I just woke up uh, after the midnight and uh, try to, to to watch some games. So yeah. And did you notice like how hard the game has become? Like these guys are like yeah. working hard in the quarters. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I saw the first game of Stanley Cup Finals, it was like wow. It was like uh, I think around fifty hits in the first ten minutes. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just yeah. crazy. Um, for you specifically, depending on, you know, what they want you to do, um, you could play on the wing, you could play center, you could put the puck in the net, you can make plays. Is that kind of the player that you want to kind of be known as looking at the NHL draft, a player that could be very, that has multiple kind of dynamics and is able to kind of adapt to different situations, Jan? Yeah, probably. Yeah. You know, I can play everything. The, the PKs, yep. PP, five or five. So overtimes. Absolutely, no, for sure. It's 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 exciting time. Um, and a lot of people look at you know getting drafted first round, second round, third round. I mean, at the end of the day, there's one goal, and the goal is to get drafted by the NHL. How do you kind of block out all of that? Because on social media, on Twitter and Instagram, right, there's a lot of things, scouting reports and stuff. Do you just kind of <laughs> block that out and just kind of do your thing? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm trying to not think about that, but sometimes my friends 
<laughs> send me something and I see it. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to have like only one goal and that's to make the NHL. You know, uh, the NHL draft is the next step for me to be closer to the NHL. So uh, that's how I am. Fi- how am I thinking? And it's interesting too because we're and it's October, and we yeah. it should should have been in July, but with everything happening, I mean, mm. it's kind of weird, right? Like, how did you kind of how have you been kind of preparing for that dynamic? Like everything kind of been pushed 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 back a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I was two times quarantined, so yeah. <laughs> maybe three times actually. So. You know, I had only one goal, and that was to be better every day. So I tried to, like, work every day, have a good practices and uh, good workouts. Mm-hmm. So that that's the part, to be be, be ready for uh, next season. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a weird season, but uh, I want to be ready. Talk to, I talked to a few players um, that played at the World Junior Hockey Championship. I talked to Igor Sokolov, who played against, who played against you guys. He was on Russia, and he plays with Kate Brett in the, in the queue. And he was saying... His experience of the World Junior Hockey Championship like made him a better player. Like he kind of showed up back in his league and like felt like he was like better. You know what I mean? Was that kind of yeah. like same with you? Like it's a great tournament. You know what I mean? Mm. Did you feel yes. like you kind of like learned a lot and became a bit of a better player from that tournament? Yes, that's what I think. Uh, you know, I played against uh, players who have uh, NHL contracts or uh, who were drafted. So. It's a. It was an amazing experience for me. Mm-hmm. You look at a, there's there's some players lately from Czech Republic, including David Pasternak, that have been just amazing in the National Hockey League. Um, players like that, um, and you look at you know players in Czech Republic. Just talk a little bit about other players that you kind of look at, whether they're from Czech Republic or whether they're just from the NHL. What are some players that? Maybe you don't model your game after, but if people would compare you to other players, who would be kind of a good comparison to the National Hockey League, to, the Jan, to Jan Mishak? Mm, yeah. That's a tough question because, uh, like you already said, uh, I can play everything. But uh, I think it's like I'm trying to play like Dylan Larkin. Mm-hmm. He's also very fast too, right? The speed? Yeah. Yeah. How and it's like important to be speedy because if you're fast, they can't hit you. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you have a point. Yeah. Well, no, it's 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 true because like it's it's just becoming just like a physical game, but it's becoming. I think the main thing what you said is like listening to the coach and listening to the team because like you have to adapt. You might be used to playing a role in junior hockey, but then you go Mm -hmm. to the NHL and it's a whole different game. You know what I mean? You might be known as like the 50 goal scorer in junior hockey, but then if you show up (laughs) your first year pro, you got to play on the third line. You know what I mean? How important is it to like adapt to that? You know what I mean? Like you have to. Yeah. But you know, uh, I'm trying to think like uh, in that way that uh, everything has a time, you know? Uh, I have to be patient for some things. Uh, I, I remember my first year with the pros. Uh, I scored only three goals in that year. Mm-hmm. And year before that, I had a 50 goals. So it was like tough for mine. But, uh, you know, I had a patient and uh, I tried to be better every day and uh, only work. That's all. Because the main goal is to play in NHL, uh, make the dream come true. And uh, that's the only thing that matters. Did you learn anything specifically from the OHL and the Hamilton Bulldogs when you came over there for a little bit? Because that, like, that's not the NHL, obviously, but the, it's a pro setting. The schedule, the fans, mm. like, it's a pretty great league. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, there is a lot of things. It's probably the the CHL is the closest to the NHL, you know. They're trying to be like NHL, so, uh, you know, the... I don't know what can what can what can I tell you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, no, you said it. I mean, it's like a pro setting, right? Like, it, yeah. it feels like the pro atmosphere. Mm, yeah. Um, you're from Czech Republic. Are, I want to know other sports and other things that are very big in the Czech Republic that people don't know about. I mean, I know soccer is pretty big there too, but is there other sports that people don't know about that are big in Czech Republic? Yeah, I think a tennis is a good. We have some good tennis players in the world on uh, 
what else? Uh, maybe, you know, we have a good, uh, do you know what is uh, like skiing? Or, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah what else? I don't know. We have good sports, man. That's uh, yeah. And I also want to ask too, um, there's a lot of different music that hockey players listen to. They listen to the you know, electronic, <laughs> the, the hip hop, the rock music. Mm. I want you to recommend me and I'm going to write them down. Who are some good Czech Republic artists that I should <laughs> listen to? Okay. Uh, let me think. What Pitlick said? I didn't ask him this. I just thought of this. <laughs> <word>. <laughs> I okay. just, I didn't, uh, I'm putting you on the spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, let me think. Um, Is there like any good know. Czech Republic hip hop? Or like no. rap? No? No. 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 It, Czech, 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 Czech rap is not good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> what about any like rock music? Any rock bands from Czech Republic? Yeah, we have. We have uh, it's called Kabat. Kabat? It's good. That's good. What okay. else? <laughs> yeah that's i know it's, it's it, it became it's it, it all of a sudden has is it like moved from being a hockey interview to being like hey maybe some czech republic artists <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah no it's awesome no it's just it's really really cool to see for sure but yan thank you so much for coming on the show man i really appreciate yeah, it yeah you're welcome no problem um, so why should an nhl team like besides the fact that you can play everything because you keep saying that besides that why should an <laughs> NHL team draft Jan Mishak? uh that's you know because I'm good offensive player uh, I'm good I'm ready to learn new things and uh, also uh, I think the team needs a player who is ready for the future you know I'm trying to take care of my body take care of myself and uh prepare myself for uh for uh for everything mm -hmm. and uh i'm trying to be like responsible and uh work hard every day mm -hmm. uh eat well sleep well everything so uh you know i'll be i'll be i'll be really good in the future that's what i think oh absolutely well seriously thank you so much and where can people follow you on um instagram is it just your name like yeah that's probably yeah. my name <laughs> okay do you have twitter as well or yeah, but I don't like I don't use it. Okay, perfect. Seriously though, can, um, all the best for the NHL draft, man. Enjoy the Thank moment. You. It's a special Thank moment. You. Thanks. Well, this has been Pop Turnative, YouTube.com slash Pop Turnative for previous episodes. And until next time, this is Jan Mishak and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.